good afternoon, it's Friday afternoon and uh, yeah, just popped out for a little bit of exercise the first part of this week uh, now, I have always tried to be able to run and I just can't do it <laughs> but I've uh, have tried a couple of times in the past to learn how to run 5k but um, unfortunately I'd always end up with shin splints or I'd end up having to try and do it around the edge of a field which is uh, not a level surface um, so that is my challenge I'm going to set myself I'd love to be able to run 5k non-stop um, obviously not happening at the moment but uh, you know you have to keep trying these things and in the hope that uh, you can improve so that's what I'll be doing I've downloaded an app um, which I'll show you in another video but uh, I'm just going to crack on with it now and I'll sort of uh, hopefully bring you along for the ride and see how much pain I'm in <laughs> so wish me luck by the way, I'm on Bude Canal today. It's the only real sort of long flat surface around here. So uh, this is where I'll be running. Or trying to. Well, I've got former athlete Michael Johnson in my ear telling me what to do. <laughs> so hopefully you can uh, do some magic here. Um, so, so I've just got to do a five minute brisk walk up, uh, warm up walk. So uh, that's what I'm doing. This is uh, again Bude Canal. Not been along here yet, so this will be interesting. Hope I picked the right path. Uh, Tow path. Oh my days, I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm halfway through the running sequences. Basically, do a five minute warm up, walk, 60 seconds jog, then 90 seconds of uh, brisk walk, and then repeat walk, jog, walk, jog. I'm just about to hit the halfway mark. A bell will sound on the app, which means turn round. Uh, and it should send me back where I started. Just at the right time when I finished. Need a drink. And I don't know what possessed me to wear a fleece. There's the bell, turn round. I saw my wife in the post office and got a bit waylaid. <laughs> so here I am with my fleece on absolutely baking hot but uh, oh well learn the lesson there <sighs> apologies if there's any snot coming up my nose okay so i just finished uh, the run or run should i say i'm just doing my last five minute brisk walk cool down and i just really like to explain what it's like for a fatty trying to learn how to run 5k Small on my back, absolutely killing. But it's carrying a lot of weight around my stomach, so that's understandable. Hopefully the more exercise and more running I do, the easier that will become and less painful. My shins, for about the last 20 seconds of each 60 second jog, absolutely killing. But after walking for about 20 seconds, fine again. So I don't know if that's lactic acid or whatever, but it does hurt. It's good. It's hard work, saw a couple of other joggers out as well, which is encouraging because uh, I don't know, it makes you go a bit quicker when someone's watching. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to walk back to the car now and finish my warm down. And I've got to repeat that three times, or twice now, three times a week you have to do it. So I'll be doing it again another two times before next Friday. <sighs> See ya. Good morning, Sunday morning, and uh, having a nice little walk out this morning. Didn't get much done yesterday um i got a horrible chafe downstairs which i think i mentioned in my last video but um didn't didn't clear overnight so uh it's having a bit of trouble walking really yesterday <laughs> so i managed to short walk on the beach and that's about it uh but today it seems but not better but it's better if you know what i mean and um, so we're coming for a quick walk out it's about minus two or three still uh it's pretty cold but a uh, beautiful day there's no wind nice blue sky and today we're walking at Meath Quarry in Devon. Uh, it's a nature reserve and also links onto a cycle track when I was doing my long bike rides uh, near Torrington. So uh, whew, that's it today. Won't be a very long one again. Um, but I thought I'd get out and stretch my legs and uh, ready to get back on the uh, couch to 5k tomorrow. And uh, hoping my chafe is not hurting too much. Let's get on with it. Nice here. If you can 
find somewhere interesting to go for a walk, it's so much more fun, isn't it? Three point one miles, awesome. And the chafing wasn't even that bad either. So back on fight the couch to five k tomorrow. So I rest up for the rest of the day. Okay, it's Monday afternoon, and I'm just about to embark on week one, part two of Couch to 5K. Uh, so what it went out of a five minute brisk walk uh, to just to warm up, then 60 seconds jogging, followed by 90 seconds of another brisk walk. Repeat that seven times. So overall I'll do seven minutes of jogging and I suppose 10 minutes or so of brisk walking and then a five minute cool down brisk walk as well. So uh, I'm gonna get on with it. It's a beautiful day here today in Bude. Couldn't ask for a better day. Actually there's no wind or anything. Lovely. Okay, so I've done four minute uh, run segments so far and I've just had the bell to uh, turn back which makes it the halfway mark. Feel okay, really? My shins are hurting a bit, but it's time to start running again now. <sighs> 60 seconds of this. Okay, so that's done. Just finished my eighth minute of running. I find it amazing how, uh, come towards the end of the minute of jogging, I'm pretty much done. But uh, after 25, 30 seconds or so with uh, the uh, in-between walking section, can't believe how quickly you recover from it. So I uh, don't think I could have done any more than eight, eight lots a day. So eight minutes is enough for that. <laughs> Just finishing my cool down walk and I'll soon be back in the car. Ready for more exercise tonight. Okay, so that's done, I'm now back in the car. I uh, just wanted to show you really how we got up to today. It took 35 minutes and the 2.6 miles. Uh, I'm not paying much attention to my pace at the moment. My main, uh, main aim really is to get through it each time. Um, so I guess each time when I do it, they'll probably uh, increase the interval so I'm doing a longer stretch running. Um, maybe less times, I don't know really, but uh, I'll have to wait and see next week. That'll start on Friday, will be the start of week two of that. Um, and I'm guessing as time goes on and I get fitter and better at the uh, running lock or shuffling a long lock, should I say, um, you know, probably my pace will increase a little and uh, I'll probably cover a little bit more ground as well if I'm running a bit faster uh, for a certain amount of time. So uh, I'm going to get on with that and um, I feel okay actually after it. I recover quite well, but when I'm doing the last uh, part of each run, my shins start really hurting, but I think it's just, you know, muscle rather than like any shin splints or anything like that. Uh, so hopefully that, that will subside as uh, my muscle builds up and all that kind of thing. Um, I mentioned briefly at the end there that I'm uh, doing some more exercise tonight. I've actually uh, decided that I'm going to go along to the local village badminton night. Um, I used to, used to play badminton a, a couple of times a week, or a couple of times a month, sorry, about 15 years ago. Uh, so I did really enjoy playing it then, and it's quite a good workout. Um, probably going to be a few oldies there, so I don't think it's going to be sprinting around the court, but I don't know because I've never been before. Uh, hopefully there'll be some people uh, to give me a run for my money and uh, get me to burn some more calories. That's the plan. So I probably won't film any of that actually because it's got other people in it um, and they might not want to be filmed. So uh, we'll see how the land lies there and uh, I'll touch base later and let you know how I'll get on. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon and um, there's no exercise for me today really. No. Uh, no scheduled exercise anyway, other than walking and collecting my left from school. I um, after my uh, second part of my uh, couch to 5k session yesterday, um, I went to play badminton in the local village hall. It was only for an hour, but there wasn't many of us, so I was playing constantly for an hour. Oh man, I've got uh, achy bum cheeks. My muscles in my bum cheeks are really hurting. Uh, I've also pulled a muscle in my arm, but that's not going to affect me riding my bike or uh, going out for a run tomorrow. But uh, for the rest of the day today, um, and all day today, no exercise. I'm having a day off, I need to recover a little bit. But I should be back on it tomorrow. Um, hopefully with part three of my Couch to 50k. So I'll catch you later. What's up? It's Wednesday afternoon. And uh, I'm about to embark on Couch to 5k week one. 
run three. So this is the final part of this uh, first part of the course. Um, after <laughs> after badminton on Monday, my body is aching. But if I don't do this today, um, my schedule will be well out. So uh, I'm going to do it today. I have to be careful not to overdo it, of course. But I feel okay, really, apart from a few aches. So I'm just going to get on with it. I have got a few new uh, GoPro accessories, which should uh, make for some better shots particularly on my bike because it's always a bit too close and I can't angle it up enough to my face so I've got a few bits uh, kicking around one of which today is an extension selfie stick so I might be able to get some uh, better shots of me actually running so I'm just going to finish my warm-up walk and uh, I'll catch you in a bit well that's three one minute runs out of eight done feeling okay so far <sighs> Coming up, run five out of eight. In about 15 seconds. Just coming up to number five out of eight. Hope you can see me still. <laughs> Apologies if it makes anyone feel seasick. Thank God there's only two of those left. It's bloody freezing out here today, but I'm baking. Okay, well that's my last run done. Uh, eight one minute runs I've done today, with a 90 second interval in between, of just a brisk walk. I have to say, I found that the hardest one this week, but my body was still a bit aching from the uh, last few days of exercise. But I'm glad I did it. That means I'm on course to start week two on Friday. So I'll catch you then, because I need a drink. Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday afternoon. I'm just riding down to the post office. No running today, it's my day off today. Before I start week two with Couch to 5K tomorrow. So I'm just going for a gentle bike ride down to the post office. I'll probably go a different route on the way home to normal just to get a little bit more distance in but uh, I'm sort of going for an easy day on the old legs today because I haven't looked into the, uh, the uh, well I don't know what I need to be doing for the 5k runs tomorrow I'm sure it'll be harder than it was this week so fresher legs hopefully I've also got a new mount for my GoPro on the bike uh, so you should be able to see a little bit more of what's going on it does bounce around a little bit plastic so uh, I've ordered a metal one just in case this one wobbles about a bit too much the roads aren't great around here so uh, let me know what you think are you getting a headache Up the A30 
39, which is the main road that uh, spans along the north coast of Cornwall and Devon. Basically takes you through like Barnstable, I think, probably down to uh, St Ives. And, uh, sorry, Land's End, I guess. But uh, lots of uh, bigger traffic on this, so. I don't feel quite as safe, have to be said. has to be said. It's a gen general hill really, back up to the unit. So I'm just gonna get on it. It's quite hard work actually. <laughs> well, I'm not very cold now. Warmed up considerably after that hill. Uh, way day tomorrow, so I'm hoping for quite a good one. Uh, been out. Every day this week, apart from Tuesday, I think it was, after badminton on Monday night. So I'm feeling quite good about it. Tom will tell, and I'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-in. Okay guys, hope you can see me, because my t-shirt is the same colour as my background. Um, so I just hope you can. Uh, so that brings us to the end of week one, I think. Is that end of week one? Week two. Uh, I'll I don't know. Anyway, so here we are. It's Friday morning, um, and I've had quite a great week of uh, exercise. Really, I've exercised every day um, apart from Tuesday. Um, I had to have a day off after I went to badminton on Monday evening. Uh, that was a little bit too much after my run as well on Monday. Um, so I had a rest day. Don't want to overdo it, and that's the best way to do it. Um, also had a little bit of chafing going on at the weekend, um, so I didn't do too much. But I still managed to get a, a walk in each day. Um, very short one on the beach, I think it was on Saturday. But on the Sunday, I managed a few miles. Um, around the quarry. Um, so without much further ado, I'm going to do my way and uh, let's see how we got on this week. So at last week's weight, I was 124.4 kilos, uh, hoping for a little bit less than that today. So let's crack on, see how we're getting on. Okay, so that's the weigh done, and my new weight is at 123.4 kilos. So that means this week I won, ex I, I lost exactly one kilo. So I made up with that again. Um, you know, I've done, have done a lot of exercise as well, um, so I should really feel good about it because uh, one kilo is good. And also that means that I've hit my first milestone on my weight uh, loss app, um, which is good. And I'll go into the app another time in another video. I sort of run out of time this week, um, so. Really pleased with that. So what brings uh, with it this week? Today I start week two of Couch to 5k. Uh, I've been really enjoying that. Some of them have been a little bit hard, the little runs, but uh, today time to ramp it up a notch and uh, week two will increase my running time each time, but probably less of them. I'm not sure. I haven't looked really. Uh, so I will see you later on this afternoon uh, when I get on and do that. In the meantime, thanks to everyone who subscribed. If you like my videos, share, comment, do whatever you like. I always try and reply to the comments, so don't feel like I just bung these videos up and then don't give a crap. I read all of them, and uh, if necessary, and if I can, I reply to it. So get on it, and um, hopefully this time next week, I might even have 1,000 subscribers. So that will be awesome. Let's get to it. Let me know how you got on in the comments below, because I'm interested to see how you guys are doing too. And I'll see you again next week for more.